beautiful people. So I'm here today with a Hunger Games inspired tutorial. This is what it looks like. And I really wanted to do a Hunger Games tutorial because I love the books and I'm so excited for the movie to come out. And it doesn't come out here in Barbados until Sunday, but it opens today in the States. So I'm consoling myself by doing makeup. There are some <laughs> fantastic Hunger Games tutorials on YouTube at the moment and there are a few that stick out in my mind. Angie. Goldie Starling actually did um, a tutorial inspired by the Avox girl. Heather, uh, Sokolum79, has done two Capital inspired game, uh, Hunger Games tutorials. And Alicia, of course, uh, X Barkage, has done an entire series from District 12 right up to District So when I was one. thinking about it, I thought of one of my favorite elements of the book is the Mockingjay, which is a bird, and it's really important um, in the story. And I'm not one for spoilers, but. Um, so you, you're going to have to read the book, but I really wanted to try to mimic this little elegant black and white bird. And if you want to um, see how I did it, just keep on watching. So the first step is to take some soft ochre paint pot from MAC on a disposable spoolie, or a regular spoolie, and um, get it into my eyebrow because my eyebrows are dark and I want them to have this sort of light effect. So I'm brushing this in in both directions. Just keeping this on really well. And I'm just going to pat some light face powder onto that. And the next step is to tape off our eyes. So I'm going to get a piece of regular scotch tape, stick it on the back of my hand to get rid of just a little bit of the stickiness so we don't damage the skin. And then under my eyelashes, following the bottom curve of the eye, through the corner of the eye, right to where your eyebrow starts. The next step, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Get this all over the inner two-thirds of the eye, all the way up to the brow bone. I'm gonna blend. Now I'm gonna take a big uh, color eye pencil in Night Glisten, but you can use any black pencil. NYX makes one, you could use Smolder, could use one of the Urban Decay ones, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to get it into the corner there. You can take it along up onto the tape so that you know that you've filled in everything. So I'm going to take it into slightly into the crease, sort of like that. And then with a pencil brush, I'm going to blend it in a little bit. And instead of blending this way, blend that way because that's what will help you to stay precise. I'm talking a little bit softly, it's because it's really early morning and I don't really want to wake the rest of my family up, especially my daughter who was up for an hour with a nightmare early, early, early this morning. And she's now sleeping again, which is a good thing. Now I'm going to go in with a brush that looks like that. And this eyeshadow by NYX, it's called Geisha. And get that all over the milk. right up to where the black starts. So now I'm going to take a pencil brush like this and this pigment from MAC. It's called Dark Soul and the reason I chose this is because if you look really closely, you're not going to be able to see it on my camera but I'll take a picture of it for you. If you look really closely, it has very very fine little sparkles in it and it actually looks like coal and I decided to use this because we all know Katniss is from the coal mining district. And it's just a little bit of an alternative to dead flat black. So I'm going to pack this on over that Avon pencil into the crease a little bit. Blend really pretty. Again, keep cleaning off this pencil brush if you need to because you do not want it to go overboard. So now that it looks like that, I'm going to take this Revlon contour shadow brush, my favorite and, contour uh, brush. I'm going to take this eyeshadow, it's by NYX, it's called Root Bear, and I'm going to get some of it on my contour brush and just use it right there as a transition color. Not a lot, just a little bit. And keep blending, and I'm actually going to blend it up a little bit to warm up that white that we've got going on on top there. So now for the fun part, which is liner. Um, first, I'm going to use this one. This is by LA Girl, and it's just a felt tip thin liner, but you can use any, there's all kinds of different brands of this, and I'm just going to use this to get a, a, a 
really really fine line really close to my eyelashes. I'm going to start at the inner corner sort of. I generally don't like um, a felt tip for lighter. But this one is so very fine. And now I'm going to line the inner corner of my eye like that. I'm going to just take the very, very point of the pen, go down. Patience. Patience. Trust me, I'm ready to just run off and do patience. So let's kind of just make sure that they match up in the corners there. And then we're going to turn the pen this way. And fill in that corner. Now, if you're really good with a gel liner, you can do that with a gel, but if I tried to do that with a gel liner and a fine brush, I would make a mess. I'm a professional makeup artist and I can do it on anybody else, not on myself. I do not know what black track fluid line on a fine brush and I'm just going to look at where I've got this starting just below like that just below my eyebrow so I'm gonna sort of eyeball it and mark it like that see that and then I'm just going to this is where you gotta be confident Thicken that line up. Do you like my Jack Skellington mug? I got this at the Disney store in Times Square. So now that we're at that point, um, I'm going to take a fine brush like this and my milk pencil. Get some of it on there and now we're just going to crisp up this line. And then I'm just going to go over that with some more of the geisha. Now I'm going to remove my tape. So from the bottom first, I'm just pull right up this. Now I'm going to go in with my night glisten pencil again, right under the middle of the eye. Fix this ever so slightly this way. Pencil brush. And I'm just going to set that with a little bit of dark soul. Setting it kind of far underneath and feathering it so this bottom line is smoky. And now for one last time, I'm just going to take a little bit of geisha on my big brush. Tap it along the bottom. Now, two coats of mascara. I'm using CoverGirl's Lash Blast. If you could curl your eyelashes, but I'm not going to bother because I'm putting on eyelashes. False eyelashes, that is. And while I wait for my eyelashes to dry, I'm just going to line my waterline with some MAC fluid line. When I do this, I'm actually pulling it down into my lashes. The way that I tight line, the easiest way for me to do it is to lean my head right back, look right down into my mirror, and open my eyes wide. I know I look possessed, but believe me, this is the easiest way. And so again, I'm just pushing it onto my waterline and pulling it outwards into my lashes. 
Now we're ready for eyelashes, and the ones that I'm using are by NYX, the number 129s, and they look like that. So I have already cut them. But I put them there to show you. I cut them from the outer edge, and I cut off one whole segment like that, because they were way too long for my eyes. But we're also going to use this little segment here on the bottom line. So of course I forgot to do something. While I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, or to get tacky, I'm just going to go right in with my felt liner from the bottom line and pull outward and create a second wing. Just make sure that they're kind of even. If you're feeling particularly adventurous, you could do this with a gel liner. I'm not going to try it. And now I'm going to get my lashes on. And now that little piece that I cut off, I'm just going to get some glue on it. That and slide it up under my bottom lashes on the outside edge. Just made me think of bird. I don't know why I liked it. I'm actually gonna go back in with the geisha as my highlight. So I'll just top this off with a coat of clear gloss. And now I'm going to just do something really, really fun. I'm gonna apply some rhinestones. And the reason I'm doing this is because, hey, this is a dramatic inspired look. But the reason I thought of rhinestones is because um, I said before the Mockingjay is an integral part of the Hunger Games and um, it's also very important to rule. And if you've read the books, you'll know what I mean when I say that um, I'm trying to mimic rue the rhinestones. Flowers. I'm just going to signify the flowers kind of scattered. I'll take over. a little dollop of my dual glue, like that, the back of a brush, and I'm just going to sort of dot where I want my rhinestones. Call it controlled chaos. Ah! Like that. So I'm just going to get the other side done. Like that. So here's the finished look. I think it is super elegant and um, a little exotic, sort of like the Mockingjay. Um, and you can see we tried to create that beautiful sweeping line of the Mockingjay's body. And for the hair, I just did something really simple, a pull back and sort of twisted this so it feathered a little bit. Feathered My nails, I promised I would tell you what was on them. I am wearing on them this one by NYX, and this is called, I think, Fizzy Sparkles or something. I really can't see it, but I'll look it up for you, but it's number 162. And it's a black jelly base, but I, I have it over a coat, over a coat of black. And then I have on this one, which is called Venetian Glass on my I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the movie, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.